Hi, I'm here in Acton at the ERU, that's the Emergency Response Unit. These guys are essentially the international rescue of the tube network. Anything from a major incident to a stray cat on the line, they're the people who are going to show up and deal with it. Uh, let's go and meet them. I'm here with Gary Burnham, who's the ERU duty manager. Um, Gary, tell us first of all, what is ERU? It's a 24-7 uh, emergency service for, for the London Underground predominantly, but we also do work for other TfL rail like Croydon Tram Link, Docklands Light Railway and a bit of mutual aid for Network Rail. What are the most common incidents that you're called out to? Probably the most common ones are rail defects and they're, they're found of a night time by our ultrasonic testing team which is another department and we go out and put it right so that the trains can run first thing in the morning for our passengers so we fit uh, clamps and put sometimes temporary speed restrictions on depending on the category of defect that it is so it makes it safe for the trains to run and for our passengers to get to work on time. Uh, obviously, we're, we're here in Acton, uh, but you're, you're based around London. Where, where else are you and how many people are there in the ERU? So we have uh, four bases in total, as you said, here at Acton. We also have one at Battersea, one at Camden and one at Stratford. Um, at each location there's a maximum of six staff, but we do go down to four depending on annual leave. And that's uh, five advanced operators and a group leader who's in charge of that team. So Gary, this is the area where you derail and then re-rail trains. Tell us a little bit about what's involved here. Generally, we use um, 20 or 30 tonne capacity jacks. Now, a train will weigh more than 30 tonne, but the actual lifting point of where it's being lifted, obviously it doesn't. So a 20 tonne jack will pretty much lift any of our London Underground trains quite comfortably. And then once we start lifting, obviously we use plates, we, we set the uh, bed of packing up, we set our plates on top and then we push it across with our Halmatro rams. So in this scenario that we're going to see here, um, we're, we're, we're doing a setup scenario as somebody is trapped. So basically what we will do is we will work with the London Fire Brigade and the uh, HEMS and the Ambulance Service and they will say when the person is stable enough to be released from underneath the train. So we obviously go by the medic um, first and foremost. So once they've said, right, they're now stable and we want them out, we will either use jacks or airbags to remove them. In this instance, we're using airbags. And so once we're all ready, we then lift the train to get the person, whatever part of them is trapped from underneath. In this case, it's an arm underneath the wheel. Once that's done, we're then going to place them in the sked stretcher that we use, which we carry on our vehicles, which is something that is used by the, used by the military service because they, they're quick and easy to use. Pretty much wraps the body in the person in the, the stretcher. We then pull them out, we'll get them up onto the platform and then it's over to the ambulance service or, or the, the HEMS helicopter doctors to uh, continue doing what they need to do, obviously, to get the person uh, to hospital. Uh, so Gary, in what kind of situation would you be using a disc saw on the rails? So basically we use that to cut the rails to size, so if we've got a rail defect and it means that we can't clamp it and it needs to be fitted uh, with a new piece of rail, then we use a disc saw to cut the rail, cut the old piece of rail out and then put the new piece of rail in. Because we're like not um, big teams, we're only small teams, we can't manhandle huge bits of rail, they're like a, a 36 foot piece of rail. So what we do is we use, we cut out the, the minimum amount that we can, which is 10 foot 10 inches, we cut that out and we replace it with another piece of rail and the defect will be in the middle there somewhere, so we cut either side of it. And then once we've cut the rail with a disc saw and we put it back in, then we drill the holes and then fit the plates. We just wanted to end this video really by showing you some of the conditions that the ERU team sometimes work in. We're, we're underneath um, an old district line train here and actually compared to some of the trains that they, they have to work under sometimes, this, this is pretty roomy. So I mean, th just imagine that if this was in a tunnel, uh, it's, it's dark, it's, it's a lot more claustrophobic than, than this. Um, they really are quite a, an amazing team.